My name is Alan Frias and I am 43. So I'm just a little ghetto boy from the hood <laughs> with no training straight up from the streets. No one taught me how to go about teaching someone. I didn't have anyone to show me how everyone else does now. Um, I did choreography in high school then from there I um, started a company called Mind of a Matter, which is, um, started like in 93. And then I've actually been working with the Golden State Warriors now for like 13 seasons. What is your name, sir? Alan Frias, Alan? AKA Big Papa. Big Papa? Of the West Coast. Yes. You, you're, not, you're not that big. I got a little size on me. Okay. I went on So You Think You Can Dance when I was 30. Um, that was like the age limit. I didn't know what I was getting into when it first started um, because they had auditions at my dance studio with the producers. They kind of, and some of the dancers, I will say that too, they kind of didn't see me much as a threat to them. They're kind of, oh, he's more of a character for TV. They were, they were kind of overlooking my dancing. They've not had the performance, the personality and the presence that you have. Yeah. That's why you're in. Did you feel as though you'd get this far? Actually, no. I thought I would be cut after the first first round you know i'm just i'm surprised to still be here right now really. when you were in the bottom six you got the most votes by america yeah. you know but that comes from me getting picked on as a little boy because i was the fat kid in the neighborhood so i always got picked on so i always stayed in the house and worked on myself and did, and did stuff that made me feel good. That's how I got into dancing. And the title of America's Best Dance Crew is... The title of America's Favorite Dancer goes to... Who has won the title World of Dance Champion? And gives them the opportunity to be not only named the best dancer in the world, but... It's a million dollar prize. Apparently, I was broken down to me on the hush hush. It's a, they already have their plot. And so it's just like a chess, like a chess piece. You just picking your pieces and playing games with them. And fortunately, that that story played out pretty good with the two people getting to the end. You know, being in a relationship in the past and whatnot. Womp to womp. We need some more like family shows to where we can all just come together and just have fun. And it's not like that anymore. Everyone wants to just make money off the competitions. Like, who's the best? And when you look at that World of Dance show, it's not the whole world. You had, what, two other people? You know what I'm saying? From another place. World of Dance used to be really more of like that family show. Um, and then all of a sudden it became a competition. And then it became stressful and like the same bullshit. I think the pros part about it is giving the opportunity for dancers to have that platform to do that because we haven't, we've always been the background to artists. This provides an opportunity to give them a name for themselves, name celebrities, turn them into brands. It's so good to see that we're going, moving towards the forefront, but it's also saying that these are the standards and this is what you probably need to go by. And that's what some people are doing. Oh, so that's what's up there? That's what I need to do? No, you still need to do you. But now check this out. You know how singers cover songs? We got dance groups covering routines. Use that as an inspiration and motivation, but don't give me the imitation. The talent is great, most definitely, but you can tell everyone's trying to outdance each other instead of kind of like vibe with each other. They can't relax, and you can't get out there and meet your peers and who you're dancing with and get to know people. I'm really influenced by the other, by the environment around me, whether it be teachers or whether it be just the dancers that I work with. And I like to especially pick dancers in general that I want to work with that will bring me something because I'm going to give them a lot more too. And I feed off of what's around me. And if you're